And now what we're going to do is learn how to create some blog posts for the e-commerce website that you're learning how to make with WordPress. So we'll have a blog title at the top. We'll insert a featured image and then we'll have our content section right here. And if I scroll all the way down, you'll notice that we'll have a related article section over here. So this will populate once you create enough articles. And then we'll also enable a comment section for your visitors to leave you comments. So I'll show you how to create one or two different blog posts. And if you create enough, then you will have a blog post page that looks as beautiful as this. So if you want to learn how to create some blog posts, let's go back to our WordPress website that we're making. And you can always go to your WordPress dashboard if you want, or you can just hover over new right here and click on posts. And once you're on the add new post page, just remember that you can always hover over post and click on add new and you'll come right to this page also. So the first thing that we're going to do is type in the blog title right here. So I'm going to go to the demo e-commerce website and just copy this title and that's just going to save some time. So I'll paste that in right here. And then what we want to do is come down here and this is where we're going to type our content. So you can type in whatever you want. I'm going to go to the demo site and just come down here and highlight and copy all of this text just to save some time. So I'll copy this and then go back and paste that in right here. And what I want to do after you have your text right here is I want to show you how you can format some of your text with these buttons. So if you don't see the second row of buttons, you want to click on this button right here that's titled toolbar toggle and that's going to unhide the second row and you can hover over these buttons and see what they do. So there's a bunch of different buttons. The one that I really want to show you how to use is the insert edit link button. So if you want to link your text to another page, what you want to do is highlight that text and then click on this button right here and you'll get this little pop up and you can type in the URL that you want to link this text to and then click on this arrow right here to apply or you can click on this wheel right here and you'll get this pop up and again you can type in the URL right here and you can check this box to open up the link in a new tab or what you can do is just come down in this drop down and then select the page or product or whatever you created and if you click on it it's going to put the link right here and then you can just click add link and now this text is going to link to whatever page that i just selected and if you want to remove any of this you can just click on the text and then you can go and edit this or you can click on this button that says remove link and that's going to remove it okay so again if you need to pause the video go ahead and do that play around with any of these buttons or this drop down and format your text however you want and then once you're ready what i want you to do is come down to the bottom and this is where we're going to put in our featured image for this blog post so once you're ready click on this link right here and you should get this pop-up right here and again if you want to upload your own images just click on upload files and click on select files if you want to use the demo content stay on the media library tab and find the image that you want to use so i'm going to select this one right here and all i have to do is click on set featured image and once it shows up right here we can put in some tags if you want or you can add category names for your different blog posts so that's all i'm going to do here i'll just type in fashion and i'll leave this as the parent category and then i'll type in culture also so you can always go and edit the category names on the left hand side over here but once you're ready all we have to do to publish our blog post is click on the publish button right here and once the wordpress blog post is published we can go and check it out and once your blog post is published you should see the categories at the top and then your title right here and the featured image and then your content right here and if i come down to the bottom you should see a link to another blog post called hello world and this is installed by WordPress by default. So let me just show you how to delete that. And then you can go and pause the video and create some additional blog posts. So I'm going to go back to my WordPress dashboard. And once I'm back on this page, I'm going to go and hover over post and click on all posts. And once you come to this page, all I want to do is just hover over this blog post and click on trash. And that's going to delete the blog posts. So now what you can do is pause the video and create some additional blog posts on your own. And as you create additional blog posts, your blog page is gonna look just like this. So I'm also gonna pause this video and create some additional blog posts. And once you're ready, push play and we'll move on to the next step. 
So just as a reminder, you can click on the add new button right here or hover over new and click on post to create some additional blog posts. So go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you in just a little bit after you create some additional blog posts on your own. All right, and welcome back. So I paused this video and I created 20 different blog posts with different featured images and category names. So now when I go to the blog page on my e-commerce website with WordPress, this is what you should see. So if you created a bunch of different blog posts, then you probably have a blog page that looks just like this. And if you create more, then it will look like this also. So if you're ready, we can move on to the next step.